Over the years, the Edgbaston Reservoir has been inspiration for creative activity, for groups and individuals. These pictures show a group of creative people busy painting a mural on the part of the wall which runs down the side of the Tower Ballroom building. In 2010, this undercover pathway became a hive of activity for a few weeks in October of that year. Many happy hours were spent attempting to give this area a much needed facelift. Leftover paint pots were collected and stored and various times allocated for groups to work on the painting in this windy tunnel area. It was great fun and very satisfying when completed. The other half of the wall has some large paintings done on board and covered with perspex. The pictures were inspired by images collected from Harborn allotments. Paintings and drawings and photographs were taken there and then used as inspiration for the individual pieces of work. This was all part of a wellbeing project funded and run by Carrick's Neighbourhood Scheme. Surprisingly, for many years, the artwork survived, but gradually it started to be vandalised. Some of the large paintings were ripped off the wall and disappeared completely. Then, over the years, graffiti, graffiti has appeared over most of it, which I suppose has a charm of its own. But I regret not trying to somehow stop this obliteration. This hanging depicts the reservoir and was created by a local art group more recently. It is created using felt making and embellished by applique and stitching. There is something very exciting about creative people working together. Occasionally, I go down to the reservoir and do some watercolour paintings in my sketchbook. Sometimes it's cold and I have to wrap up warm and recently get as far away from people as possible in these COVID times. This collage I did for a roundhouse project back in November of last year. I love to see the heron who has appeared over the last couple of years after it was submitted I added to it, so you'll see in version 1 and 2. We have noticed another creative person who appears regularly down at the reservoir these days, a juggler. My husband Dave has chatted to him and apparently he lives locally and works in a bar on Covid times so he has plenty of bottles to juggle with. Dave has named the tree where he performs the juggling tree. See if you can spot it the next time you're walking, jogging or cycling the pathway. I'm sure many more people have been inspired to create works of art over the years in this magical place.